Hello, this is Jolly Gaming Panda, and today we will be playing Roblox. We are going to be checking out all the different kinds of Demon Slayer games that's on here. Uh, most of the Demon Slayer games I haven't had that well. Well, I mean, I don't have really good experiences with them, especially this one. I think I kept it in my favorites just so I'd remember. Like this game, I was bullied on really bad to the point I was too traumatized to ever play it again. I don't know how it even has a 90% vote on here because the players were very toxic when I was last on here. Like, I was accused of hitting people when I didn't and the player and their buddies kept attacking me even when I would respawn and they would verbally just bully me in the chat and it was so bad I kind of had to rage quit. I just exited the game and since then I kind of hated the game and never wanted to play it again. It's more of a game the players that are really strong, they target the weak players and yeah, it was a horrible experience back when I played. I don't know, so much time has passed since. I actually tried this around back when I was first getting into Demon Slayer when it was still kinda new to me. I think it was a little bit before I watched Mook and Train and got into it. So it has been a long time. Maybe it's improved since the mechanics and maybe the player base. Just the community in this game. I don't know. I mean I might try this one eventually but this one I would at least save for last. Let me know in the comments if you want me to give this game another try. It was just a very horrible experience. I don't know if I, even if I did accidentally hit a player, I was talking to NPCs at the time, or trying to, I don't know if I just did accidentally hit them, but even so there was no reason to make things that dramatic and to continuously target me over and over to a point I couldn't even play the game. I couldn't even leave the village for crying out loud, so yeah, this was a horrible game experience. But despite that, I want to try out all the other kinds of Demon Slayer games that Roblox has to offer. I think I'm going to start off with some of the games that's in my favorites that's Demon Slayer related. And then maybe some new ones I haven't played yet if there's any new Demon Slayer games that's been added. So this is either going to be split episodes, me trying out the Demon Slayer games, or I'm just going to make this all into one big video. The thumbnail and the title will say all, but at the time I'm recording, I don't know how I'm going to set up the videos, but I think it would be fun to check out all the Demon Slayer games. Maybe even show everyone, in case if anyone who is also Demon Slayer fans find any of these interesting. So I'm going to have this one muted. I remember trying this one. I really liked this one, but they used copyright music, if I remember correctly. I think most of the Demon Slayer games does, which isn't really that good. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what to do. <laughs> should I? Yeah, I probably should have this muted. Just because a lot of these have copyright music and I don't want copyrighted with claims, so yeah. I don't know if this game has changed any since I last played. This one was really cool. Basically, you get to explore the Moog and Train from the Demon Slayer movie. I always preferred the movie version of Mugen. It just had way more scenes than the TV version. The TV version unnecessarily cut out too much important scenes that I thought were better than the one second clips the TV version added. 
Um, I love how they have different clips from the anime out the window. It's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm a movie fan of the Mugen arc. So yeah, this game hasn't seemed to change much. I'm not gonna bother seeing if they kept the music. I bet they kept the copyright music. So we're just gonna have that muted. Most of these fan games use that music, so... If you also do YouTube and stuff, I would definitely mute the music to this. Oh, look, it's a no ski mask. So, on the train, there's all kinds of hidden items you could find in the seats. We probably passed up a few, like this train car has the Inosuke mask. Let's see if there's any we missed in the other one. Um, I actually don't see any. Hmm. Let me see about this one. Oh, over here. I guess we're in Goku's meal. Um, some of these actually do look empty. I think Nezuko's box was somewhere too. I'm surprised I haven't gone this since I first got into Demon Slayer, which is a long time it feels like. But I do remember there were hidden items in the seats. So let's see. About this one. Any hidden items? Guess not. Anything in the windows? No, nothing. Over here. There it is, Nezuko box. I knew this was sitting around somewhere. Oh, and here you get to go up. Uh, this is actually weird having it be like a sunset, though. Since Mukin Train takes place overnight. But I mean, I- Oh, it looks derailed, that's why. It's really cool you get to climb on top of the train, too. And you also could get a- Oh, I can't pass this. You get a good- Better view of the video clips that were scattered. And there's even items over here. Like in Rinkoku's sword. It'd be so cool if there was an option where you could pick it up. Guess this is the woods. This is pretty cool. So, nothing much to do here. It's kind of just to walk around a little area that was designed to look like the Mugen train. It's really fun. I like this zone. I thought it was interesting. So yeah, you could visit this too on the Roblox. It's just a Mugen train Slayer showcase. I would recommend it. I thought it was pretty creative. It was neat. Okay, so we took a look at the Mugen Train Slayer Showcase. So there's Demon Slayer Simulator. Let's see what this one was. I really can't remember these that well because it's been that long I've played. Demon Soul The Hinokami Chronicles by Diligent Farmer Studio. I never really played that much of this one, but I always, every single day for a very long time, I would just do daily logins. And I would get some of the characters through the logins. So I don't think I really had anything I disliked about this particular game. Oh cool, I unlocked a Nosuke. I thought I never unlocked them. Let's see what all characters I have. I got a Nosuke. Sun breathing, Tanjiro, Shinobu, Giyu, Rengoku, Rui. You actually have the option to play as the demons, which is kind of neat. Zenitsu, Water breathing, 
Tundra, and Doma. I haven't got to watch much of the new season because I'm waiting for all the dubs. But I did get to go to the theater and see the first part of the new season and this character was teased. I don't think he gets much spotlight until probably next season. I think he's probably getting covered in a different season, but yeah. So it looks like you have option play as two different demons. I don't know how you unlock Doma, so I don't know. But I got pretty much all the others, which is cool. Maybe we should play as um, Rengoku. I think we click Deploy, then there. You could play as the Demon Slayer characters. And this is the spinner. You get to spin it once a day. I believe it was once a day. But, yeah, I think. So you get all those different items. You get this, which is speed to go faster. I think. Can't remember what these wisp were for. This is experience. Other things. Here is a 2% chance of getting Rengoku. The other characters. So yeah, I pretty much got most of the characters. So it's a really neat game. I really haven't played much of it. All I did was like log in a lot. And you could go over here to fight demons. And you could unlock different special moves, which is really cool. It looks like a lot of them's locked. I think it's because we gotta level up the characters. You could level them up, I believe, from fighting the demons, unless there's some other way to level up. We could play around and see. So here's a lower moon. Wakaraba. And sometimes the skills do help a lot. It could take a while to defeat them if it's just you. So yeah, it's a neat game. Let's you collect most of the characters. At least as far as the main cast go. They are missing some Hashira. But I think it's really cool. And they even have this Nuke and Train reference over here. That was one of my favorite things on the world map. I just love the Mook and Train references because that was my favorite arc so far. So yeah, it's a neat game. I really haven't played that much of it. I don't know if it really feels like there's that much to really do, but if you're in a mood for a hack and slash Demon Slayer game, a game that Pretty much lets you collect the, the majority of the main cast. It's pretty fun. And it's pretty quiet, I think. There's... And I don't think you could get attacked by other players, so... It's probably more of a lax game where you don't have to worry about getting bullied. Because some of these Roblox games with fighting, the game will let players harm you, and yeah, those could be really difficult, especially when the players don't play nice, or just want to attack you for no reason and start making up some drama stories in the chat that actually happened to me on that one Demon Slayer game I talked about at the start of the video. So yeah, it's really cool. I don't know if we've... we still haven't leveled them up any. How do we level them up? Still doesn't make sense that our Rengoku is still a level 1. We keep... as we fight them, we seem to collect more flames. What are these for? Not sure. Oh, upgrade. Guess you use these flames, I guess, to level them up. Wait, really? I guess we need these things to level up. 
Gee, we don't have very much, and I don't know. Do we get those whenever we defeat a demon? Let's let's check. Okay, now let's go back here. Um, where is this game? Is still so new to me. How do we level up or upgrade? I forgot where I found the upgrade option. Souls. Experience. Hmm. Wait, you could have pet. Oh my. This is hilarious. You could have a muscle mice pet. That is super funny. I like that. You could even dress your characters up in clothing. It's nothing that special, but there's a few things in the clothing. Exp crystals. Oh, you could even unlock a Akaza. I don't know if he's on the spinning wheel to earn. Let's actually take a look. Hmm. He'd be one of these two, but I don't think that's him. Let's take a look. Yeah, I don't think Akaza is available in the spinner. Yeah, I don't think Akaza is available in the spinner. So, I guess he's just available in the shop using Robux. So... It's kind of a fun game. Don't know if there's exactly any kind of real progression. It seems more like it's just a hack and slash. It's made just for fighting. Oh, there's some players. We good team. Hey, hi, can you help level up? Sure, friend. <laughs> so I guess reading that, maybe we level up just by... Normally fighting? We could give it a try. I would like to know how to level up. If I can't level up just from fighting, and if gaining XP is only from purchasing stuff from the shop, I don't think I'm going to be too hooked on this game. I was never that hooked on it anyway. More for just logging in. But it's cool when you do unlock most of the characters, and it's just fun to check out and explore sometimes because the whole area is just themed off Demon Slayer. Has those trees, the just everything, so many references. Even the rock that Tanjo had to split in half for his training. So it's a really fun game. So I would definitely recommend this one if you like Demon Slayer. It's pretty fun, and it's pretty quiet, so if you want to solo play, or if you've had bad experiences like I did playing some of the other Demon Slayer games, this one is pretty peaceful. I don't think players could harm each other either, so you could actually play without your gaming being interrupted with bullies, so that's one nice thing about this. And it seems like there's all kinds of stuff to do, max level 20 unlocked, and that there's probably more to this game than I even realized, so I might even take the time to play more of this eventually. It seems neat. I've been collecting these blue flames, but I don't... I still can't remember how to level up. My character. I'm just stuck as a level 1. All of my characters seem to be level 1s. Wait, Rui's level 10. I think I got Rui that way though. I really don't remember playing as Rui. So yeah, this was a neat game. For some reason, yeah, I don't know how to level up. Um, I really don't see anything about upgrades anymore. Oh, there's a playtime. 
Looks like I've actually played a total of 1 hour and 46 minutes and 28 seconds. Souls earned, 12k, draw roll, 5. I think that means we've got 5 characters. Rubux sent, spent. Luckily, we haven't spent any, so. Total damage. Highest level, 10, because we got really at level 10. We've killed 50 demons. Collectoral 8. So, I guess that's just to see what, what all we've done. Yeah, I have no idea how to level up my characters. Unless I already get it figured out in another video. If you play this game and you know how leveling up works, feel free to let me know in the comments, because I really just mostly, for the most part, have logged into this game. I've never actually tried figuring stuff out as far as gameplay goes. But yeah, this is the Demon Slayer Soul Simulator game. It's pretty fun. It's good if you just want a hack and slash game that isn't difficult at all and is just relaxing. So I think I'm just gonna make these into different videos. Just episodes of trying out different... I think I'm just gonna make this into different videos trying out different Demon Slayer games with each video, maybe. So I hope this was enjoyable and maybe might have got you guys interested in some of the Demon Slayer games if you've never heard of some of these. I like checking out all the different Demon Slayer games. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.